Restaurant Unstoppable, inspire, empower, and transform the industry. With excitement, allow me to introduce to you today's guest, CEO at the Fifth Street Group, Patrick Whalen. Patrick, my man, are you feeling unstoppable today? I am feeling unstoppable. Yes, dude. I cannot wait to dive into your story. I love what you guys have created. But before we dive into it, let's get that motivational, inspirational ball rolling with a success quarter mantra. What do you got for us? Um, well, the easy one would be there's only we. We have that on our ceiling. But I actually like um, why not us. We used to say that a lot before we opened our first restaurant, why not us? Because success always seems so far away when you don't have it. But then why why would it be so hard to get to if you're working hard and you're good at your job and so why not us why yeah. can't we open a restaurant group why can't we be successful mindset man it's so mm-hmm. huge i think that's something that it's very similar to something that comes up a lot on the show and it's just this idea of as soon as you say it can't happen to us it's, it's not right. possible your mind shuts off and it won't happen right mm-hmm. but as soon as you say why not us or how do we make it happen that that frontal lobe kicks into hyperdrive and what were you what's the significance of there's only we get into that there's only we was a dis, uh, was a was a mantra that I've actually followed a lot of my life, which is the belief that um, the value that you provide individually um, can be advanced um, exponentially if you're able to surround yourself with like-minded people um, who have a diverse um, offering in terms of their skill set that will complement what you're good at. So um, you could be um, great by yourself or you could be amazing as part of a group of people. And my preference has always been to uh, be part of a collective, um, ideally to lead a collective, but to be part of a collective because I think that allows us to to go further long term. Yeah. What about that person who's ready to be we, but they Mm -hmm. don't have access to we yet? They don't have the resources, uh, but they want to become we. What's your advice for that person to get to that point where you can be we? Well, I mean, the first resource is people. So everyone has access to other people. Yeah. Um, In fact, I'm a firm believer that that most of your equity in a business is by way of the the human capital Mm -hmm. that that populates it. And so you have access today, uh, if someone's listening to this, you have access today to amazing people. And I think if you look around hard enough, um, they're there to be found um, if if you're motivated. Yeah. And um, that's a little bit of a selfish question, if I'm being honest, because I'm trying to get to the point where Restaurant Unstoppable is more of a we. I have Jared, he's amazing, but I know there's, if to scale, you need people on cash flow, right? Mm -hmm. So like... Uh, you know, if you guys, if you're listening to this and you think what I do is cool, you, you got to put it out there, right? You got to let people know we're looking to, to grow this thing. So don't be afraid to reach out to me. 